guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you guys my minecraft house um actually my whole entire city so i only have a couple things done so far but this is the house and then i have my walmart super center and my school so this is my house it's a very cottage house i love like a vintage um like vintage retro cottagey stuff is like my aesthetic it's my vibe um, but yeah, this is my house. Um, I love it. It's, um, it's really great. It's probably one of my favorite Minecraft builds ever just because it's small. It's quaint. It's what I like. Um, my friend Davey actually helped me out with this. I'll leave his account in the description box below if you have something, go check out his channel. But, um, so right here I have some fencing and I have some trees on both sides. And then as soon as you walk up to the house from the fencing, you have this little pathway that actually leads to the backyard, and um, but it also goes to the front, which is where we're going to go. I have my horse um, with a saddle. I haven't named her yet. I think I'm going to name her something oceanic. I don't really know what else to... I don't know. But as soon as you walk in to the left, I mean to the right, sorry, you have the kitchen. Um, I just used the scaffoldings as the tables. I think they're called scaffoldings, yes. I used scaffoldings. And then for um, the countertops, I just used um, trap doors. Um, I thought it would be kind of cute to do a little trap door idea because I just love how those look. So, um, yeah, and then of course I have the sink, I have the furnace as the stove, and then I have just some books as like a cookbook type thing, and um, then I have windows surrounding it, of course. So over here I have the dining room, and I have this little blue lantern. I found it when I was looking for torches, and it looks so cute. Um, it's called the Soul Lantern, I think, but it's really, really cute. I thought I would add a little... Cute, a cute little touch to the dining room um and then right here is the living room I just have two of the lanterns I love this dining room because it has that little like coat rack thing and of course the reddish orange couch I had to incorporate a crazy colored couch and then of course I have the furnace um yeah I love the furnace so yeah that's the living room and then over here I have I don't know what that is I honestly cannot tell you what it is I don't remember or that little book thing. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So don't ask me. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I don't know. But this is the bathroom. Um, I have the double sinks. I have the shower with the shower head. And actually my friend put that in. It was not me. Because I didn't, I, I didn't even know about that. But um, I have the double sinks. The lantern. And then the toilet right there. With some windows. Obviously. And then, once you go upstairs, there is only one bedroom and one bathroom, so it's not like a family house. But of course, I had to put a coat rack, and um, I love that thing. And then I have a little desk with some lanterns, of course, the scaffolding tables. And then I have the bed. Um, I forgot that I put the lantern in, like, the fencing there, but I don't know why I put that there. Whatever. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I put that there. But I love this type of bed because it's really, it makes it look bigger. And again, I have those. And I have just some books and whatever that purple and blue and red thing is. The thing next to it, I'm pretty sure, is like a brewery thing. Like, I don't know. Um, and then I have the deck. I love this deck. There is such cute um what's it called like flowers yeah such cute flowers I think it's part of like the new update or something so I've never seen them before but I like it because it has a really good view of the backyard and the rest of the world so I just put some chairs in obviously to relax um but this is the backyard um you can enter it through um like the entrance to the bathroom kind of and then I have some roses and just like some regular grass bushes on the places where I couldn't put roses. Um, and then this pool was actually made by my friend. He made this pool. It's such a big pool. It's actually a really good idea to have it like shallow to like deep like in those hotel pools and regular pools. 
Um, and then he put some trees as, like, a privacy fence thing with some grass patches around it and some flowers. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. That is my house. That's his house. I think it's his house. Yeah. Um, so, next is the Walmart Super Center. I actually renamed this the, um, the Sunnyside Super Center because I didn't like the Walmart Super Center. It just kind of seemed basic to me. So I renamed it the Sunnyside Super Center and I just put a new, um, sign on. Um, but yeah, I, this is a really basic super store because I couldn't figure out how to put any other food or anything onto, like, the shelves, so it's all cakes. So, it's act like it isn't all cakes, okay? But the flooring reminds me of, like, a skating rink, so I love that. But, um, yeah, this is the house. Not the house, oh my gosh, the super center! Ah! Um, I didn't put cake there, I don't know why I didn't do that. But anyways, um, so this is the store. I just have cakes and more cakes. And then I have the self-checkout and there's two cash registers. Um, so yeah, and then I just have like the center aisle as just cakes. And then aisle one, two, and three as cakes, obviously. Um, but yeah, I love like the way, like the back is just all windows. I love that. I'm going to put some fencing, like a little fence door between those blocks because I just don't like how it's a big space. But, um, yeah, so the last item that I have in my town so far, in my coastal village, is the one-room schoolhouse. So, this is an all-grades schoolhouse. Um, I, I, I thought I did a pretty good job on this. There's four desks along with the teacher's desk, but um, I used trap doors as like a chalkboard. I thought it was kind of a cute idea. But there's four desks, and then of course the books are surrounding. They're all just all textbooks. And then um, I have over here the bathroom. It's for girls and guys. There's three toilets and two sinks. And then um, I have the cafeteria. There is no lunchroom it's just a cafeteria to bring your own lunch sorry y'all but i ain't cooking no food um so yeah that's the schoolhouse it's pretty tiny um it's just like it's gonna be a small village anyway so there's not gonna be that many kids coming to the schoolhouse so i just didn't really put any big stuff in it but yeah th that was wow this voiceover is so bad that was my village um, yeah, I'm definitely going to expand. I'm hoping to put, like, a road, like, a big, thick, black road that has, like, the yellow lines in between all my stuff. So, I want to curve around and then be, like, a big circle, like, an oval, kind of. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to put some stuff around the trees. I don't like how it's just plain. Um, this... These are some of the new corals from the update. There's a bunch of them. And then, of course, the new roses and plants are under the flowers. There's roses and there's lilies as well. So, I think I used the rose bush, but I'm, yeah. And I'm just going to place these around the trees to make it look less plain because it's looking plain now. So, that looks really cute. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, that, I just added that to make it look nicer, but I love those rose bushes, they're so cute. Um, so yeah, that's my house, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's very simple. <laughs> oh, and I didn't show you guys this, did I? I put an extra deck on the front as like a little breakfast nook, but it's, but, but the entrance and it is from the bedroom. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.